So you talk, you talked at the beginning. I asked you, you know, what the Future Freedom Foundation does, and you said that you're a big believers in the role of ideas in shaping the future. Can you can you talk about that? Yeah, that that um, you know, ideas move the world uh, for better or for worse. And and I often hear people, in, especially in the libertarian movement, oh, we don't have a chance. It's too powerful. It's too big. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Let's just hope, put our put put our faith in the younger generation, and and they'll they'll achieve freedom sometime in the future. Well, the younger generation is no different from us. They they get old, and and all of a sudden, you know, they're they're going to be saying the same thing. Oh, let's put our faith in the young people. <laughs> We can achieve freedom in our time. This is a, this is a movement that's been going on a long time, the libertarian movement, many decades. Uh, in fact, when when people were fighting for liberty and libertarianism back in the 40s, they were saying, "Let's let's put our faith in young people." In other words, <laughs> so, so how do we do this? Well, look, Mike, we live. This country lived under a government. I'm not saying it was a perfect government. We all know it wasn't. But, but we did live under a system where there was no income tax, no welfare, no Medicare, no Medicaid, no drug wars, no immigration controls, no gun control, no national military establishment, no foreign interventionism, no uh, torture, assassination, CIA, NSA. All right, then the, then the progressives and the interventionists come in with bad ideas. They get a welfare state coming in. They get a warfare state coming in. And now we have the results. I mean, it's a disaster. They're spending our country into bankruptcy. Uh, they're affecting regime change operations. They're assassinating people without any kind of due process. This is not what a free society is all about. Okay, well, if they could use bad ideas to move America to where we are today, certainly we can use good ideas to move America back in the good direction. And we already see that happening in the drug war. 25 years ago, and if you call for drug legalization, you were crazy. <laughs> hey, it's on the table. It's a legitimate position. Two states have legalized marijuana. Same with gun control. You see the public opinion polls moving toward uh, against gun control. This is the power of ideas. This is what we rely on at the Future of Freedom Foundation. Well, I just want to thank you, Mike, and thank Liberty on Me. It's just a big honor to be here. I've been keeping up with what you guys are doing, and it's just absolutely awesome. And it's it's nice to be here and participate in this. And thank you for for having me on. And uh, I, I I think that the way we're going to achieve the free society is not because of some great big design that that somebody comes up with, like a plan, a central plan for liberty. <laughs> it's going to be because of the results of human action, like Hayek said, not of human design. And those human actions uh, is everybody in the libertarian movement doing his part, whatever that may be, to, to advance liberty. And when you multiply that across the country, all of a sudden you're talking about a huge movement because there's hundreds of thousands of people out there doing this. But one of the big organizations that's doing that is Liberty.me with y'all's videos and stuff. It's absolutely fantastic and I'm glad to be a part of it and thanks for having me on.